right, so I'm here in London, <laughs> filming in front of my boyfriend, which is super fun. So I'm in Boots. This is like UK's drugstore, and I figured I'd do another Shop With Me video. I'm gonna link the one that I did with Walmart in the eye and down below if you haven't seen that. But I'm just gonna check it out. This is a massive, massive Boots. There's lots of makeup happening. So if you're excited for this video, you can give this a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Central time. Let's get to shopping. Okay, so I think what's happening is they have some like American brands and drugstore brands on this side of the store. Like here's Revlon, but then I also see Bourjois and Soap and Glory. And I think over on the other side of the store, there is higher end brands. I don't need any NYX, we got that. Sometimes though in UK drugstores, they have the same brands, but with other kind of products or like different packaging. Like we have this foundation, the Age Perfect, but I'm pretty sure it does not look like that. Ooh, like I don't think we have that blush. They have the new NYX like Bear With Me line over here too. This is the new stuff. I did a video trying out those two. It'll link down below. What is this? What the heck, they have a smoothie cup. You get a smoothie cup if you buy makeup. Yeah, thank you. Okay, they have lots of NYX happening. There's some Bare Minerals. Skincare and their normal stuff. All right, we gotta get find some brands we don't have. Oh, CYO! Wait, this is so exciting. What the heck? Are you laughing at your text or me? <laughs> they actually have CYO Life Proof in stock. What a concept. So this you can normally only find at Walgreens in the US and it's always out of stock. Do I need more? I have like 12 of these, but I feel like I'm obligated to get more. Okay, no, I have enough. I have like five million of these. We'll see if they have any other stuff though that we don't have. So CYO, I'm pretty sure is owned by Boots. So that would make sense why they're here. It looks like they have kind of the same stuff we have. This is really good, the Shimmer Brick. Let's see, Soap and Glory. So we have Soap and Glory in the US, but they're also a UK brand. This foundation is horrible. Don't buy that. What is this? Ooh, Max Factor. Okay, so we don't really have Max Factor. We have like a few other products. Last time I was here, or it might have been Germany, I got one of the Max Factor blushes and these are really good. Ooh, bronzer. Maybe I'll get the bronzer. So in European drugstores, they'll put testers out, which is really nice. I think I'm gonna try the bronzer. I feel like last time I was here, I bought this one, but I don't think I've reviewed it yet. Ooh, Radiant Lift. Medium coverage, Radiant Finish. We don't have that L'Oreal packaging. Too much powder. This is one of my favorite foundations. I have a whole review on this during 15 Days of Foundation. There's lots of people looking at the other things. So I'm in the shampoo section, see what they have. Ooh, Batiste, wow, they have five million. Ooh, I kinda wanna try the Boots like knockoff of Batiste. Oh, this is cool. Plumping powder. You got the cart ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try this. Collab, I've never heard of this brand. This is really cool packaging. Look at this packaging. Let's smell this one. Will you hold this for a sec? What do you think girl power smells like? <laughs> Lots of power. I don't think I'm supposed to spray these, but that's okay. Mmm, that one smells really good. Ooh, maybe we'll try this one. This is so cool, you can hear me? Oh yeah. Wow. About two pounds, so it's like four dollars. They have a shit ton of Batiste. So I don't really like the brown version of Batiste because I feel like it just transfers all over the place. Ooh, defrizz. Let's defrizz. I think I'm gonna try these two. I haven't seen this Soap and Glory stuff. Ooh, they have Tony and Guy. Ooh, you know what I do need to get? A scrubby thing to get off all this self tan right now. Exfoliating mitt. Oh, here's the Soap and Glory one. Is that kind of cute? Oh, they have Face Halo! This is so cool. So this is Chloe Morello's brand. Wait, this is so exciting. I've never seen this in the store. How do you get this off? Which one do you think feels coarser, this one or this one? Yeah, because I'm trying to scrub off all this crap. Oh, or maybe one of this. Oh, they have their own boots bags. These are cute. Oh, should we get some body wash for our Airbnb? That's a going away present for them. <laughs> body wash, black hole remover, heater, that works. This packaging is kind of cool. Oh, just got that up my nose. That smells really good though, actually. This is only a pound. Should I try this? Ooh, tingly mint and tea tree. That probably feels good. Makeup section's a little more empty. 
Let's try. So here's Bourgeois. I reviewed this foundation or I used it in a video. I'm not a huge fan. It doesn't look the best on my skin. But I think this one actually might be different. Oh, what? Oh, it's concealer. I thought that was a mini foundation. I got really excited for a second. Okay, this I've been wanting to try for forever. This is so cool. It's in like the chocolate bar packaging. That looks like a nice shade. Oh, what? So this is Maybelline, but we do not have this. Oh, this is so cool. Full coverage, dream urban cover, 95. Oh, it's new, cool. So sometimes they'll have like the same products, but a slightly different packaging like those ones. This is the bronzer I'm wearing today. I love the city bronzer. The sleek makeup. I picked up a couple things from them last time. I wasn't a huge fan. I got this, one of these last time. They're like cream highlighters, matte liquid lipstick. Buy one, get one half price on all sleek makeup. Okay, this is cool. This is a brand I haven't heard of, Obsession. Not sure if they're good, but it looks like they have some cool eyeshadow palettes. Be the game changer. Okay, I might try one of these. This one's more cool toned. Five pounds, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that one. Ooh, pigment fixing spray. Illuminating spray, heck yeah. Lightning glow, or there's a dewy fix. Ooh, they have a mixer. Lightning and darkening mixer. Champagne glow. These are six pounds each. I might try the mixer. So I'll do a video, first impressions video, testing all of this stuff out, so that'll be coming in probably a couple weeks. Have some highlighters. Oh, there's a white powder. Actually, it looks kind of chalky. Never mind. There's a white concealer. I might try the white for mixing. Banana powder. The whole line of baking powders. Okay, this concealer is really good. I've talked about this for years. I still have a cup, but this is awesome. Haven't tried the foundation, I don't think. It's another dewy spray. Did I get eyeshadow? Yeah. Eyeshadow, foundation, concealer, brushes. That's cool packaging. They have real techniques. Spectrum, never heard of. With their own uh, brush line. It's kind of cool. They have way more eye lures than Alta. The 121s. Let's see if they have it. Yeah, these are some of my favorites. Ooh, Barry M. I don't like that one. I think I, yeah, I have one of these. I think I have this one. Natural collection. Tinted moisturizer. Matte powder. Long lasting foundation. We're almost done. We can keep going. <laughs> okay. okay, so this side of the store I think is a lot of stuff that we probably have. Looks like Lancome, Estee Lauder, YSL, Benefit. Okay, I've seen this. I can't remember if they already launched this in the US or it's coming. This is cool. I think Clarence is doing kind of like a rebrand. It's probably cheaper here. This is so massive, the store. This is almost like a Sephora in here. Number seven. Oh, there's a whole number seven thing. Okay, here's some skincare stuff. Botanics. Oh, have I heard of that? Can't remember. Face oil. It's only four, four pounds. Oh no, it's eight, eight pounds. Oh, here's Boots uh, skincare brand. Wonder if their wipes are any good. Bio oil is really good if you have any kind of scarring or anything you need to get rid of. Oh, here's what I need. Yay. Oh, and it's on sale. Whoa, mega sale. Okay, this stuff is so good. This is one of my favorite self tanners. I did not bring this. I wore this one, which is not good. This one wears off super patchy. My ankles look like I was just in Hawaii for five weeks. I'm gonna get this one now. What the heck? This one is watermelon scented. Ooh. I wonder if that's any good. I haven't heard anything about this. I'm not sure if we have this one. Bondi Sands. Okay, I've been wanting to try this. We do have this at, oh, what the heck? And Vita Liberata. It's like a body makeup kind of thing. 20 pounds for that? What the heck? I've heard really good things about this, but I feel like the dark is probably gonna be too intense for me. Okay, I have no idea which one of these to get. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> it's like 500 self tanners. One hour express, maybe I'll do that one. Oh, it's only 12 pounds. I have this gradual one that I ordered on like Boohoo on sale, but I meant to get the oil or whatever. Oh, liquid gold. Okay, this is the one everyone talks about. Here's the foam and then there's a dry oil. I don't know which one is the one people like. It's only 10 pounds, that's pretty good for self tanner. Oh, they have a men's one. Wow, I've never seen a, I've never seen a men self tanner. That's interesting. Okay, I might get the one hour express too. All right. Also heard really good things about the self tanning drops. You can use these on your face, and apparently they're really good. I'm not sure if they have, oh, this is medium. 
These are also on sale for 13 pounds. That's way cheaper, I feel like, in the US. These are like 30 or 40 bucks. There's lots of options happening. A leopard mitt. Here's a dry oil by Garnier. Results in one hour. Ooh. How long does it normally take? Oh, like overnight. You usually have to leave it on. No, I thought it was medium. Mm-mm. -mm. Like it has to like develop on your skin. I think I have enough self tanners. I literally got four self tanners. <laughs> but we don't have this. Get more. <laughs> That's actually really cool packaging. I didn't know Ted Baker had beauty stuff. Body scrubs. Yeah, I like the packaging. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was intense. Do you recognize that brand? This is another one with your face on it. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if we have any good minis that we don't have. Spray deodorant, which does not work. Oh, maybe I should just get a mini one of theirs to try out instead of the full thing. What the heck? Four pounds for a mini thing of that? I have a roche Posse. Nivea. Garnier Dry Mist might be cool. Full service. Oh, I mean, I'm in the diaper section. Let's not be in the diaper section. All right, so I've got a giant basket of things here. So I'm gonna do a video testing out all this stuff when I get back, but I hope you guys liked the shop with me video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Sip time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Oops. <laughs> also not a bee. <laughs> Let's go back down. Behind <laughs> oh, the scenes, we don't like the sketchy at all. Oh no. <laughs> Covert giant audio recorder in a backpack.